Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Pike, uh, otherwise aka Mr. Pike. I'm so thankful that uh, you're looking in this morning or this evening, wherever you're at, and uh, just excited about our story today. Uh, I, You know, one of the things that I want you to think about today, and I want you to know is this, that you are valued by me. You have value. And no matter what race you are, no matter what, whether you're rich or you're poor, no matter what country you're from, you have value. And we, as an adult, I've seen a lot of things in my life. And I've experienced a lot of things in my life. And you, over the last several weeks, you've seen a lot of things that that may concern you, that may that hurt you, and you have been hurt by it. And I want us today to read a story by Dr. Seuss that will maybe help shine some light on things that may help you to understand that who you are is who you are, and you're valuable. No matter what you have, where you live, or anything else that we put value on. That doesn't add value to you. Value yourself. Value who you are. Value your family. Value your parents. Value other people. And one of the greatest ways that we can show value to people is to treat people as the way that we'd want them to treat us. And so today we're going to read this story called Sneetches. And it's going to help us to understand some of the things that we have uh, going on in America. But one, it's going to help us to see things in a different light. And so listen to, to this wonderful story. It says, now the star of belly sneeches had bellies with stars. The plain belly sneeches had none upon thars. Those stars weren't so big, they were really so small. You might think such a thing wouldn't matter at all. But because they had stars, all the star belly sneeches would brag. We're the best kind of sneech on the beaches. With their snoots in the air, they would sniff and they would snort. We'll have nothing to do with the plain belly sort. And whenever they met some, when they were out walking, they'd hike right up past them without even talking. When the star belly children went out to play ball, could a plain belly get in the game? Not at all. You only could play if your belly had stars and the plain belly children had none upon thars. When the star belly sneeches had frankfurter roast or picnics or parties or marshmallow roasts, they never invited the plain belly sneeches. They left them out cold in the dark of the beaches. They kept them away, never let them come near, and that's how they treated them year after year. Anybody ever felt that way? You might be feeling that way right now. I don't want you to feel that way. Then one day, it seems, while the plain belly sneeches were moping and doping along on the beaches, just sitting there wishing their bellies had stars. A stranger zipped up in the strangest of cars. My friends, he announced in a voice clear and keen, my name is Sylvester McMonkey McBean. And I heard of your troubles, I heard you're unhappy, but I can fix that. I'm the fix-it-up chappy. I come here to help you, I have what you need, and my prices are low, and I work at great speed, and my work is 100% guaranteed.
Then quickly, Sylvester McMonkey McBean put together a very peculiar machine. And he said, you want stars like the star belly Sneech? My friends, you can have them for $3 each. Just pay me your money and hop right aboard. So they clambered inside, then the big machine roared. And it clonked, and it bumped, and it jerked, and it burped, and it bopped them about, but the thing really worked. While the plain belly Sneeches popped out, they had stars. They actually did. They had stars upon bars. Then they yelled at the ones who had stars at the start. We're exactly like you. You can't tell us apart. We're all just the same. Now you snooty old smarties. And now we can go to your Frankfurter parties. Good grief, groaned the ones who had stars at the first. We're still the best sneeches, and they are the worst. But now how in the world will we know, they all frowned, if which one is what, or the other way around. Then up came McBean with a very sly wink. And he said, things are not as quite as bad as you think. So you don't know who's who, that is perfectly true. But come with me, friends, do you know what I'll do? I'll make you again the best sneeches on beaches, and all it will cost you is ten dollars eaches. Belly stars are no longer in style, said McBean. What you need is a trip through my star off machine. This wondrous contraption will take off your stars so you don't look like sneeches who have them on bars. And that handy machine, working very precisely, removed all the stars from their tummies quite nicely. Then with snoots in the air, they paraded about and they opened their beaks and they let out a shout. We know who is who, now there isn't a doubt. The best kind of sneeches are sneeches without. Then of course those with stars all got frightfully mad. To be wearing a star was frightfully bad. Then of course old Sylvester McMonkey McBean invited them into his star off machine. Then, of course, from then on, as you probably guess, things really got into a horrible mess. Can you imagine what's going to happen? Are you thinking what's fixing to happen? All the rest of the day on those wild screaming beaches, the fix-it-up chappy kept fixing up sneeches. Off again, on again, in again, out again. Through the machines, they raced round and, and about again, changing their stars every minute or two. They kept paying money. They kept running through until neither the plane nor the star bellies knew whether this one was that one or that one was this one or which one was what one or what one was who. You see, that's really not a bad thing, is it? And then when every last cent of their money was spent, the fix-it-up chappy packed up and he went. And he laughed as he drove in his car up the beach. They never will learn. No, you can't teach a snitch. Listen to this. But McBean was quite wrong, I'm quite happy to say that the Sneeches got really quite smart on that day. The day they, that day they decided that Sneeches are Sneeches. And no kind of Sneech is the best on the beaches. That day, all the Sneeches forgot about stars and whether they had one or not upon bars. So... What did we learn? We learned that it doesn't matter. Like the Sneeches learned, whether you had a star up on your belly or whether you didn't have one up on yours, 
that it really mattered. A snitch was a snitch. Just like today, a person is a person. Whether he's got white skin, black skin, whether he's any other color, whether he's from another nation, whether, whether he's from the south or from the north, it doesn't really matter. A person is a person. And we are to value all people. Boys and girls, I want, I want you to know I value you. Do not ever let anyone look down upon you or devalue you. Remember this. I value you. God values you. Your parents value you. And that's all that really matters. So remember, value all people. Show them that. You know what? You'll be like the snitches when they get to the end. It really won't matter whether you got stars or you don't. You have a blessed day. I love you. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Talk to you later.